Rough estimates place the portion of extinct species at 99.9%. Not really sure what kind of statistics those are, but hey, that doesn't mean all the species we see around today are fairly recent. Some have actually been around for millions of years and haven't changed much during this period. With that said, here's a brief look at some of these ancient creatures that are still thriving today. Number 15. Crocodilians. This is an order that includes crocodiles, gharials, alligators, and caimans. With their armored skin and frighteningly huge jaws, they've remained almost the same for the past 95 million years that they've been around. This means that the crocodilians rubbed shoulders with dinosaurs, albeit briefly before the latter were right from the face of the earth by an asteroid strike. For some reason, the crocodilians survived the mass extinction, and they've retained their looks ever since, which makes sense if you consider why animals evolved, that is to better the chances of survival. For crocodilians, their bodies allow them to thrive in the face of sudden change. If they could survive that, they can survive pretty much anything, which significantly slowed down their rate of evolution. This means the changes they've undergone for nearly 100 million years are hardly noticeable, and yet very effective. Number 14. The Shoebill. Characterized by a conspicuous shoe-like bill, shoebills have quite the frightening look which does not help the situation. Most of these birds grow to between 3.5 and, and 5 feet, which is apparently large enough to prey on Nile monitor lizards and young crocs. But it's not just this size that works in the shoebill's favor. Being slow is like a superpower to the African natives, they can remain motionless for hours, so the prey doesn't usually notice the looming danger until it's far too late. Aside from the crocodiles and monitor lizards it preys on, it also feeds on eels, lungfish, snakes, and tilapia. The exact past of the bird isn't very clear, but scientists honor two close relatives from 23 million years ago, so that says something here. Number 13. Lice. Following up crocs, I bet you didn't expect lice. But like most invertebrates, louse fossils are hard to come by, so it can be a bit of a task to work out when the first louse ancestor appeared. At least that was the case until at least 2004, when researchers stumbled upon the remains of a 44 million year old feather louse. This louse was quite similar to the lice that commonly attack water birds of today. You'd think that's old, but actually, no. A few years later, scientists used the few available lice fossils and the present living lice to work out just how back the lice lineages go. Feather lice turned out to be quite old, having evolved separately between 115 and 130 million years ago. Back then, early birds and dinosaurs covered with feathers were the hosts. Considering that the feather lice have had access to similar hosts for the entire 130 million years since then, there was little for any significant changes on their parts. Number 12. The Frilled Shark. This deep sea dweller has been known to science since the late 19th century, but putting an estimate to its population has remained a challenge. This is because, well, they kind of live really far away from the surface. Scientists know a few things about the shark, though. They have slim, eel-like bodies averaging just over six feet, and sport an intimidating 300 needle-shaped teeth. They've also remained this way for some 80 million years, cruising the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Just like modern sharks, filled sharks too have hinged jaws that are useful in opening the mouth wider in case of larger prey, which is also made easier by the fact that the teeth are curved, essentially acting like hooks. Number 11. The Alligator Snapping Turtle. Endemic to the US, the alligator snapping turtle is the heaviest freshwater turtle in North America and one of the heaviest in the world. Of course, the figures are going to vary widely, but an average turtle here can weigh anywhere from 19 to 176 pounds. A few specimens have been found to weigh way more than these limits though, with the most notable ones being 403 pounds in Kansas, 250 in Chicago Shed Aquarium, and 236 in Chicago as well. It's easily distinguishable by its heavily armored shell, divided into three rows of spikes and raised plates. This is very close to what some dinosaurs actually looked like. More specifically, the Ankylosaurus, a genus of armored dinosaurs that went extinct 68 million years ago. Number 10. The Velvet Worm. Velvet worms are a pretty diverse group, with at least 200 species, although scientists believe there could be more out there. They're not actually worms, they simply look like one and are known for their velvety appearance, hence the name. Their hunting techniques are also quite interesting. They have specialized mouth parts that they use to spit quick hardening slime for trapping prey, usually spiders, crickets, and wood lice. As far as age is concerned, velvet worm fossils go back to about 500 million years in the Cambrian period, which is to say they're very, very old. 
Of course, they've also developed a few features that they didn't have back then, like slime-spitting parts. Most of the general body structure, though, is still pretty much intact. Number 9. Jellyfish Jellyfish are much like the velvet worms in the sense that finding fossils isn't exactly easy since they're mostly made up of like 95% water. Despite that, not everything is usually lost. In 2007, scientists were lucky to stumble upon a well-preserved jellyfish fossil that turned out to be over 500 million years old. That meant that these invertebrates predate dinosaurs by some 250 million years, and the fact that they're still around and thriving is pretty impressive. Digestion, on the other hand, which hasn't changed for all these years, is pretty important in keeping jellies lightweight. It takes place very first to allow the animals to extract the much-needed nutrients while remaining almost weightless for easy movement. Number 8. Brachiopods While they're a little hard to come by today, brachiopods were once the most widely available shelled animals in the sea. The evidence of this is still available even today, as their shells pretty much make up most of the sediments in some places. As mentioned though, the animals themselves are so rare today that only about a hundred genera are alive compared to the 5,000 that are known from fossil records. While these fossils tell a story of a long gone era of glory, they also tell a story of how long these invertebrates have been around. That time is about 530 million years. Their numbers didn't blow up until at least 488 million years ago before they were squashed by the Permian mass extinction about 251 million years ago. A lot of numbers I just threw at you, I know. Number 7. The Giant Salamander Giant salamanders are found in three places, namely Japan, China, and the eastern U.S. That being said, the fossil records show that these salamanders are specifically endemic to Asia, so there's still a discussion of how they could have reached the U.S. They're actually named as they're among the largest amphibian and animal species in general. The size, though, will depend on the specific giant salamander species. The East Asia natives classified under the genus of Andreas tend to be bigger, with the South China giant salamander, the largest, averaging a little under six feet. They have rather poor eyesight, so their hunting is dependent on the sensory nodes found all over their bodies, basically helping them detect the tiniest changes in water pressure. According to fossil records, giant salamanders have been around since the Middle Jurassic, some 170 million years ago. Number 6. The Horseshoe Crab now, despite the name, this is neither a horseshoe nor a crab. They're actually more related to scorpions and spiders than actual crabs. They're found exclusively in the Atlantic, so they're sometimes referred to as the Atlantic horseshoe crabs with their range restricted mainly off of the North American coast. A typical horseshoe crab is divided into three body parts, namely the head that carries vital organs in the mid-segment and a tail that aids the creature in movement. Additionally, the tail also helps in flipping over the animals in case they're overturned. Horseshoe crabs are pretty old and have been around since before the dawn of the dinosaurs. According to National Geographic, the horseshoe crabs precede dinosaurs by at least 200 million years. Number 5. Cow Sharks Of all the 1,000 shark species, cow sharks are considered the most primitive, retaining the same form that they've had for 175 million years, and I bet you anything this is the first time you've actually heard of a cow shark. Well, either way, the digestive and excretory are particularly outstanding because of their unspecialized nature, which isn't the case in other shark species. But by far the most notable feature is the extra gill slits on cow sharks, which are usually six or seven, depending on the particular species. For reference as to why that's different, regular sharks only have about five. This, scientists reckon, has been retained for the million years that these sharks have been around. Their diet, too, hasn't changed that much. They were scavengers back then, and they still are today. Perhaps the only difference is the kind of carry-on that the cow sharks today have access to compared to their peers in prehistoric times. Number 4. The Coelacanth As far as elusive animals go, coelacanths certainly take the cake. The primitive fish is so good at playing hide-and-seek that scientists were actually convinced it had gone extinct with the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. This conclusion was later scrubbed with the discovery of one off the South African coast in 1938 subsequently renewing interest in the animal. To date, two species have been described with the other living off of the Indonesian coast. As a living fossil, the coelacanth is markedly different from your normal fish. It has a hinged joint that allows it to open its mouth wide enough for larger prey, as well as an oil-filled tube that acts as a backbone and a pair of lobe fins that move in an alternating pattern like a pair of legs to propel the fish forward. Number 3. The Komodo Dragon Komodo dragons are the undisputed kings of the Lizard Kingdom, both for their vicious nature and gigantic sizes. 
With legs reaching up to 10 feet and 300 pound weights, these reptiles are the apex predators, going after any animal they come across like water buffalo, pigs, deer, and even smaller dragons. To catch prey, Komodo dragons depend on their shark-like serrated teeth to eviscerate their victims, as well as anti-clotting venom secreted by glands in their mouths. The venom causes massive blood loss and subsequent shock, making it fairly easy for the gigantic lizard to subdue their prey. The Komodo dragon's ancestry can be traced back to about 40 million years ago when the reptile developed into its present huge size. It survived a lot for all these years, but human encroachment has left its future shaky to say the least. Number 2. The Echidna If you've played Sonic, you might be familiar with Knuckles, but let me present to you the spiny anteater, the Echidna, which is one of the only two mammal species that lay eggs. While they eat ants and even have it in their name, they're not related to the actual anteaters endemic to the Americas, even though they're quite identical. However, much like the true anteaters, echidnas are well equipped to dig thanks to their short, strong limbs equipped with tough, large claws. To single out prey, the mammals use their sensitive beaks and tongues with the help of electroreceptors found on both. Echidna ancestors split from platypuses between 19 and 48 million years ago. Despite that, though, they've largely retained their form to this very day. And unlike hedgehogs, they don't chuckle. Number 1. The Duck-Billed Platypus Well, speaking of the evolutionary chain, the peculiar appearance of the duck-billed platypus has always been fascinating since the 19th century. Reportedly, European naturalists had a hard time believing the stuffed specimen of this animal from Australia was real. They honestly took it more like a prank by the locals. Of course, though, they soon found out it was real, but what was even more interesting was just how long the animal has retained its otherworldly look. Fossils from Australia show that platypus-like creatures first appeared 110 million years ago, while closer duck-billed platypus relatives came later, about 25 to 5 million years ago. To become the weird-looking animals that we know of today, the duck-billed platypus lost its teeth and took on a beak instead, but the shape of the skull has held steady throughout the years, quite enough to actually wear a secret agent hat.